Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Caleb's EDC Corner, and I just want to welcome you back. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Um, we have finally hit 400, and so uh, that's uh, really awesome. And I want to keep, I want to see the channel keep growing, and uh, so make sure you uh, share this. And if you like the content, uh, give it a thumbs up, and uh, make sure you comment down below. And what are we talking about today? Well, I want to show you guys um, a knife. I just want to give a first impressions. But first, we first things first. Let's do a pocket check. So in my uh, right pocket here, I have the uh, Bark River Gunny folder. So I've been carrying this every day since I received it, and I got to tell you guys, it is holding up wonderfully. Um, Took it out on the farm and um, used it quite a bit. Uh, took it fishing a couple times. And I gotta say, I am more than pleased with this, but I'm not ready to do a full review quite yet, but um, very pleased with the Bark River Gunny folder. Um, and then in my left pocket, I am carrying, I've got two folders today. <laughs> this is a, uh, a Hella, Hella, um, I've been working on the pronunciation of these. I've got a really good buddy that has been helping me with this, um, Espen. So I've been going to Espen's language school. Um, and so I'm really trying hard. This is the Hella. And this is the Hella Doka. And really been enjoying this one. Guys, I've been on a Hella kick lately. So um, just to kind of show you some I'm gonna be doing a video here really soon of these um, these are so good I'm head over heels for this brand and so be looking forward to that video I want to get some more use in on these before um, before I do a full video on this brand uh, but guys be looking forward to that so I've been on a Scandi kick lately and I found a brand that um, I'm just gonna knock everything over. <laughs> I found a brand that I really, really was attracted to, and this is a brand that I had never heard of before. And I got it at Knife Ship Free, um, and I'm representing today the Knife Ship Free house brand, uh, Northwoods. Um, Jay runs a, an awesome company there, and I'm proud to uh, proud to be one of their customers. And so the brand that I'm showing you today is Anderson and Copra or Copra. This is a sw another Swedish company. And when I saw pictures of the Anderson and Copra um, sportsman models, I immediately knew that this is a knife that I needed to have in my collection and I needed to use. And so I haven't used it a whole lot, so this is just a first impressions. I have used it a little bit, and I can tell you that it's done amazing. So when you get the Anderson and Copra, you're going to get a tube, which is very reminiscent of the Hella uh, brand. And so um, you're gonna get it in this tube, which is really nice, um, very high quality cardboard. And then it says on the, um, on the tag here, A and C Scandinavian Sportsman Knife Model Number Two, and so this is AEBL steel and uh, caution sharp knife enclosed. And let me tell you guys, it is very sharp. So when I did um, some research on this brand on YouTube, I think I found maybe one video uh, that covered this brand as far as the Sportsman model goes. Now they make a friction folder, which I really want to get my hands on. But the, uh, the friction folder seems to be a lot more popular than the Sportsman model. So I didn't really find a whole lot of content. I think there was maybe one other video that covered this knife. And so I wanted to do a video to show you my first impressions. So let's talk about the knife. Let me get a little closer to the camera here. Let's talk about the knife. The first thing that drew my mind to this, so they offer um, four different, I believe it's four different um, stacked leather configurations and I chose green stacked leather because I don't see a whole lot of that out in the wild and I've got a bunch of brown stacked leather stuff but I think the green looks amazing it also comes in this olive green 
sheath, and the sheath is extremely well made. Extremely well made. In fact, I gotta tell you guys, this knife is extremely well made. First of all, the fitment in the sheath is just perfection. It, uh, it, it fits just perfectly in there. There's no slop, there's no wobble. Um, it's almost like it was made for it, <laughs> which I think it was. And so uh, the sheath is amazing. You'll see Anderson and Copra right there, uh, branded or pressed into the leather. And the green leather is just so nice. It's unlike anything that I have. And so let's look at the knife itself. Um, let me just show you guys real quick. So it's a Scandinavian style, uh, but it has a V edge and you can kind of see the, uh, the bevel there at the bottom. You can see how nice and mirror that, that edge is, how polished it is. Um, I like that. It's gonna be easier to maintain, at least for me. And so you can see these, um, the, the green leather, and then there's two, three, and four. So two, three, and four spacers that are a brown leather. And guys, to be honest with you, when I saw this one, there was no contest between this and the others. I knew the green leather had to be mine. It was just so beautiful, so well made. So you have A and C on one side. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus here. A and C branded right there. And then on the reverse side, you have Sweden. The grind lines on this are amazing. So you'll, you'll already see there's a two-tone um, uh, flat there. So the grind lines are running up and down here, and then the this is a matte finish right on top, and it gives it a very nice contrast. When I examined this knife, and I'm kind of picky when it comes to knives. Um, some of you might know that. I'm kind of picky. Um, I couldn't find a single flaw. The edge is hair popping sharp. All of the all of the corners are chamfered. It's going to be a little harder to see that on camera, but all of the corners are chamfered to perfection. On the back of the knife, you can kind of see it's like a mere polish. Um, there is Anderson and Copra in Sweden um, in the butt cap there, and you can see. That this would be, I believe they call it a stick tang or a rat tail tang. It runs through here and then it's finished off here. It's threaded on the pommel and then tightened down to hold everything together. Very traditional method. You see that in a lot of different uh, knives. And so, um, how does it fit in my hand? Well, I wear a large glove. And um, as you can see, it fits my hand very very well. I really, really like this knife. I'm so glad I took a chance on it. And I really did take a chance on it because there was, I just didn't know anybody that owned one. Um, they just popped up on Knife Ship Free. And when I saw them pop up on Knife Ship Free, I immediately reached out to Jay and I said, Jay, are these good? And he said, yes, they're very good. So I bought one. And I'm very, very happy that I did. It's very light in the hand. Um, I don't have a weight on this, um, but it is very light. So what are my applications for a knife like this? So um, Anderson and Copra, they call it the number two. Number two refers to the, um, the style of the handle. So there are four different handle styles, one, two, three, and four. Uh, they all look amazing, but this is number two. Um, and what is this designed for? Well. Um, it is a sportsman knife. So when I think of a sportsman's knife, um, I'm thinking out in the woods, I'm thinking fishing, um, I'm thinking hiking, hunting, um, just a companion knife to have with you all the time. And that is what this knife is designed for and that's why it caught my attention. Okay, I'm not much into the tactical scene. 
Um, I'm not much into, you know, some other stuff, but outdoorsy knives um, for sure catch my eye, as you as you know. Uh, Bark River, um, Hella, um, Mora. I love all these brands that cater to outdoorsmen because that's what I am. Okay, so um, I wanted to show you guys this knife. I'm very pleased with it. It is incredibly sharp, uh, not only in the blade, but the overall knife itself is just a great looking knife. I think, um, you know, there's not a lot of info out there, at least for us, I don't see a whole lot online. Take my word that this is a good knife. I 10 out of 10 recommend you to go buy this knife in any of the handle configurations. The green actually is what stood out to me. Um, you might like the brown stacked leather or, um, you know, um, some of the other configurations. Like I said, they, they also do a friction folder. And so I'm going to get my hands on one eventually. I don't know when that's going to happen. But guys, do yourself a favor. Go pick up an Anderson and Copra um, sportsman model. I think you're absolutely going to love it. It's an heirloom piece, and again, it comes in this nice package here, and there's some paperwork on the inside that talk about this brand and uh, their roots, and um, they're from Sweden. Everything is made there in Sweden, um, and it's really good stuff. If I didn't mention it, I think I did, but if I didn't, AEBL on the steel, which is a great stainless steel. Um, uh, you're not going to have to worry about this. Uh, steel... Um, taking a patina really just maintain it as you normally would and so AEBL it's a great steel I've had that steel before great for use around water a lot of kitchen knives are made out of AEBL so um, guys go pick up an Anderson and Copra uh, sportsman model again this is model number two all right guys hope you have a blessed day